I just ironed it on the floor. Ow, hot steam, hot steam. All right, ow. Hello every, oh gosh, everything's going off right now. <laughs> Hello everyone, my name is Carissa McComb. Welcome to today's video and I'm 100% going to regret wearing this shirt. Does anyone else like really hate off the shoulder shirts? Just because like whenever you go like this, like, hey, how you doing? And then this happens like, Ugh. Anyway, um, a couple of days ago, I received a massive, massive parcel from Philips, and this is what was inside the parcel. Ugh. Can you see that? It is, what's the correct name of this? It is their Perfect Care Expert Plus Steam Generator. So I think it's like a steaming iron, iron steamer, something like that. I do not iron at all, just because I hate it. I tend to avoid purchasing clothing items that require ironing i'm just so lazy like literally we have an iron in the cupboard at the moment but if i have to iron something i get my straightener out and iron it that way that's how lazy i am but i've done like a few quick i guess like stalking research whatever you want to call it of this and um from what i'm gathering it should be making it a more enjoyable process for me but anyway backstory of why i was sent this product it was not for a youtube channel um it was purely just so phillips could get my honest feedback and they wanted a review from me i guess for their marketing marketing department and then also so they wanted me to put a static post to my Instagram account. But I thought, why not take this opportunity and then put it on my YouTube channel and then I can do a honest to God unboxing video for you guys. But I'm gonna like set it up and turn it on and everything. And yeah, so basically I think this is just an unboxing video kind of thing. If you guys are interested in what comes in this big massive, oh, it says guaranteed no burns. Sorry, I'm just reading the front again. Can you see that? It's that says guaranteed no burns so wonder yeah and then this one here no temperature setting required i probably should have done more research on this but it looks like you've got it on like a silky shirt and they've just ironed it left the iron on there and it looks like they're saying it won't burn any of your clothing so i guess that's good for people that go and make a cup of coffee or something when they're in the process of ironing their clothes i don't know i feel like if i was an ironer that's probably something i would do like i get easily distracted um silent yet powerful steam are irons really ever loud like, I know they do that. Hmm. Okay, so maximum 7.5 bar pressure. I don't know what that means. Up to 120 grams slash minute continuous steam. Mm -hmm. And up to 520 steam boost. I honestly don't understand what any of that means. I am, like I said, a really bad ironer. 1.8 liter large detachable water tank. Silent yet powerful steam and it's literally got a picture going like this ultra light iron I mean going by this box. It's bloody heavy So I don't know what they mean by ultra light or what exactly is in this box superior gliding and scratch resistance I've always wondered how people get scratched up irons Like what are you ironing for your iron to then get scratches on it? Like what are we like medieval times and you're like a knight in shining armor? Let's just open this box. I need like a knife or something. Let's go get a box cutter my handy dandy X Audi box cutter knife Oh yeah, I used to work at Audi, for those of you who didn't understand that. <laughs> Fun story, I lasted there nine months. If you guys are interested in a video dedicated to Audi and um, why they do the things that they do, such as scanning super duper fast, hit me up because I'm a girl, I can give you all the inside gossip on why that happens, because there actually is logic behind it. Anyway, Ooh, okay. Can you see Stevie in the background? <laughs> She's just chilling right there. Good girl, aren't ya? I'm gonna have so much rubbish. I just went down to the bin today. Oh my god. Oh my god. Can you see that? It looks like a small like um vacuum cleaner, I would say. I don't know where we're gonna store this. We have like no storage space as it is. So then the fact that we've got like an iron that's like normal size at the moment and we're replacing it with this. Um yeah, that's interesting. Um, that, that, I feel like there should be instructions. Yes. Oh my gosh, there's so much reading material. Ugh, not excited. Okay, Stevie, you want to play with the box? Look, there we go. Let's get comfy because we're going to have like a massive story time here, guys, because I've got like three bloody books for you. I'm not going to read these. I think we've just got warranty. Um, this one here is, oh my gosh, it just gets bigger and bigger. How, what are you? Read the separate important information leaflet. Okay, but what are you? 
It's, this better not be like a piece of paper that's literally telling me to read the other pamphlet. Okay, danger, never immerse the iron or steam generator in water. So just like a hairdryer, don't use your iron when you're in the bathtub. I always laugh at like that little um, safety thing that comes with hair dryers and it's got like the bathtub and a cross next to the hair dryer. It's like, does anyone actually, there probably would be someone who's done that. That's why they've done it. But seriously guys, like, I don't know. Just, just put that aside. And here's my user manual. <laughs> I feel like I definitely need it for what this is. So that's what it looks like on um, there and yet, this is what it looks like here. It's bigger than my bloody head. Anyway, preparing for use. Type of water to use. Well, the box said tap water, so let's see if this is actually going to agree with that. This appliance has been designed, designed, designed to be used with tap water. However, if you live in an area with hard water, fast scale build up like a vertical ironing. Wow. You can hold the steam iron in a vertical position to remove wrinkles from hanging fabrics. Does that mean I don't have to get my, um, ironing board out and I can literally just go through my cupboard and oh, I feel like that should that should mean something like that right let's just go into the biggest part of this puzzle which is this what comes in this plastic even more rubbish lovely try me see how wide I am and then it has like cardboard connected to it I guess that's to stop the knights at the round table getting like ironed oh I've got a chip out of it Oh, that's unfortunate. It's only a tiny one, but hmm, you probably won't be able to see. It's like right near, it's like a chip right there. That's annoying. So the cardboard covered everything, but the section that actually got a chip. Oh well, moving on. Hopefully it won't, I don't think it's gonna actually do anything just because that's not the iron, I don't think. No, it's not the iron, it's the plastic around it. Still, that sucks. Okay, now I'm all sad and depressed about my chip in my iron. It seriously feels like I'm holding a um, vacuum. So, oh my gosh, that's literally a lot of water you can put in there. Guaranteed no burns. Okay, so it keeps on going on about that. So I'm assuming it just doesn't burn anything. That's a lock. You can unlock it. How do I get into here? I am i don't want to break anything, but I also don't want to read the instructions because I'm lazy and stuff. I, I don't know. But it's wet in there. Is this meant to be wet when I receive it? I don't know, man. I feel like, I feel possibly like I've got a returned one, which I don't know how to feel about that just because I'm meant to be giving my honest re review and feedback on here. Like it's a bit dirty and wet. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> um, okay, maybe it's just like they had to test it out in um, the manufacturing place. I can't shut this now. I don't know, it just feels a bit sus that I've got like a chip out of the section and then it's also wet inside. I don't know, man. I don't know. Okay, um, moving on. I really don't know how to feel about this, hey? Like, seems like there might be some dirt all over this guy. <laughs> all right, so I've done a bit of reading and apparently that little knob was wet inside. That is the decal section. So when you're actually cleansing the tank, you empty it through there, which in my head, because it's wet, seems like this could have possibly been used already. Or once again, it could just be a manufacturer testing. Um, I don't know. But then um, to take this tank bit here at the front off, which is where all the water goes, pull it down and then you get that off. So then that's completely removed and then you fill it through the filter at the top. So I'm going to do that and then I think I'm just going to actually turn the whole thing on so we can see what it looks like and sounds like. All right. Catch you in like two seconds. Okay, I'm gonna have to bring you guys over here because I do not have a um, PowerPoint over there. Who seriously thought they were gonna be watching an ironing with Carissa video on my channel? Because I never thought that was ever gonna happen. But anyway, I've got um, this guy plugged in over there. Not that that's important. And we've got the buttons on the base here. So, get out of the way. We have Eco, haven't actually read what that does. Decouse, so that's cleaning. That's your water light, so it lets you know when your water's coming off, and that one is your power button. So everything is controlled by this. So I'm assuming it'll, I don't know, let me know when it's hot. That's also got a little rest there, so can you see? That all just sits quite well. What is, um, 
I'm sorry, weren't you meant to be quiet? <laughs> um, that's not quiet. <laughs> so basically what it was doing then, oh, it stopped. But all this water here was bubbling. That's why it was making that sound. And it's, I guess it's not making a sound anymore. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna do this. And I really wanna do this. Okay, maybe it's not ready yet. We'll just let that sit for a bit. Okay, I've waited a few minutes and are you ready? This is like the fight, my, my favorite thing about ironing, which doesn't say much. <laughs> but, so you're ready for this? I'm pressing this button that's in between here. That's so intense. That's awesome. Anyway, so um, I feel like I should do like a little test of like steaming my clothes at least. We're gonna let this warm up a little bit more and um, let's go find a dress that I know I haven't worn in months just because ironing. I know exactly which one. <sighs> so Gra Greg, Craig, bless his heart, washed this dress in um, warm water and uh, it kind of shrunk a bit and it's happened in the past but I know like all I need to do is iron it but like I said, <laughs> I don't do that. So let's try it now. Is that how you iron? <laughs> is that what it's trying to tell me I can do? Yeah, look at that go. No, no, no. I feel like I'm just blowing hot steam at this and I feel like, you know, if I had... It's so loud. Like, I get how they're saying it's not loud when you're using it, but come on, if it needs to reheat the water and sound like that, you're loud. Okay, I don't know. We're not gonna do that. You know when you do? I just ironed it on the floor. Seems good. Ow, hot steam, hot steam. All right, ow. So, I ironed this little section on the floor. I don't know if you can see that. I did it, I swear I did it. But I need to like cold wash this dress. Hey, with like fabric softener, it's gone like stiff and kind of like, you know, old towel that hasn't really touched fabric softener in its life. That's kind of what that's like. But I'm gonna see if I've got like, Maybe a t-shirt or something. I don't know, I'll go check. All right, so I'm not gonna lie. Um, I honestly, like I said before, don't really have that many clothes that don't need ironing, that do need ironing. So this is like my next best thing, I guess. I just really wanna see this steam thing work. Like what kind of clothing do you steam? I don't know. I feel like it's probably not this. Maybe if I like iron. I don't know. I feel like Craig's going to get super excited about this because it seems pretty cool. But right now I'm like, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> like, I like the fact it steams like that. Like, that's super cool. But once again, I feel like it is a lot louder than a normal iron. Um, it's getting hot in here. That machine is so hot. I'm just going to turn that off. Okay, so I'm going to put you down and we can have a little chat about what I think about the product even though I didn't really use it properly because ironing. A um, gorilla pod has got like a really loose leg. Like I think it's broken one of its legs even though they're all together. So I'm a bit scared for this camera's life at the moment. I mean, like, this camera's already been dropped in water and a bathtub. So if that can't kill it, I feel like a leg and a gorilla pod won't kill it. But um, yeah, thoughts. It's very chunky. Um, it's very loud when it starts. I do like the idea I feel like it has a lot more water than a normal iron. Um, I don't know really. I feel like I'm not the best person to give a review on it, especially because I didn't actually use it properly. So I think I just am gonna go with what it looks like. I honestly think it's super massive, but I guess for like the function of this iron steamer, it obviously needs to be big. So it has like the steaming option with it. I like the colors of it. I like the fact that there's literally only one button that I need to press, which is on or eco. I think I can use two buttons actually, that's a lie. And um, yeah, so I hate when you've got ones that are like, twist the knob here and it's like, what kind of material do you have? And I'm like, I honestly do not know. Please just don't melt my clothes. And um, yeah, I feel like this one here won't do that just because it does say it, like it adapts to the material that you're using. And also because it says it won't burn your clothes. Yeah, I think Craig, like I said, is probably gonna really enjoy that iron. I just don't really use irons as much to appreciate this as well, as much as I probably should be. 
Another thing I want to point out, which I did say before already again, is they've called it a super quiet iron, but you know, when it was heating up, that was a lot louder than any iron I've actually experienced in my life. But then that was just the short burst to get the water boiled so it can turn into steam. So I think it's probably something that's worth checking out in the, in the stores, in the stores, um, just because I guess something this size wouldn't suit everyone. Have a great day, guys, and until next time, Someone's going on with my hand. Goodbye.